Good day. Thank you for joining me for another episode of Atari 8-Bit Gameplay. That opened my eyes wide to pretend I'm awake. Thoroughly awake. Kennedy Approach. This is a game that I actually did play back back in the day. When was this from? 85. Yeah. No, I definitely played this. Um, and... I'm just thinking, trying to decide whether this is one of those games that has a really extensive manual. It is, actually. However, I feel like I might be able to wing it. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to play and try, try and wing it. <laughs> I'm going to start, oh, did we go into a demo mode or something? Let's see here. Can I not, how do I exit it? How do we exit demo mode? Press start. I did that already. Okay, there we go. One to five. We've got one, two, no. Oh. Why can't I choose? That's weird. Okay, well, I guess, uh, what the hell's going on? This is weird. Why can't I start this? S, enter, skill level. Okay, I guess I'll look at the manual. I would have assumed start or pressing the number 1 through 5 would do the job, but apparently not. One moment, please. Hmm, so the manual says pressing a number from 1 to 5. That didn't work. So the other one was moving the joystick up and down and pressing fire. So that also doesn't work. Well, that's pretty damn weird. All right, um, I'm going to pause and I'll be back in a minute. All right, I just reset the game, reloaded the game, and now pressing one works. So um, I'm thinking that perhaps after going into demo mode, it wasn't working properly. I don't know. All right, so I'm a GS7 rating salary. Presumably that's the lowest, 12,000. That's not a survival wage these days. Atlanta trainee, Dallas-Fort Worth trainee. Well, let's go for Atlanta trainee. Okay, we can move the cursor around. We have planes. This is a plane, I think. Okay, so we're going to change the heading and try and get it. And I'm going to tell it to come down to whatever height. 2,000 feet, I guess. Oh, that's going to be awfully tight, isn't it? That's going to be really tight. Uh, I guess I better tell it to... Uh, go north a bit. So we've got all these, so there's an air, air, uh, airport landing strip in the middle there for Atlanta. We've got all these planes coming in from Miami, London, Boston, Tampa, Nor, I'm not sure what that is, Dallas, Chicago, Washington. Okay, and... Not quite sure, there's a, there's five IDs showing, A, a through E. We've got A and C on the screen right now. I'm not sure what to make of B. Is that a thing? Clear to land. Oh, B is what? D, E. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Clear to land. Why? Oh, boy. going to tell you to climb to 5,000 feet. Go. In the meantime, let's get you. And you. You there. We're going to have you come. Seven zero at one thousand feet. Roger. 
the speech the speech uh, synthesis on this is actually quite good um, are you gonna turn see there you go okay I'm not sure how to get these guys in for a landing though so obviously the goal here is to get all the planes landed and taken off here so D I'm gonna tell you to climb take off and climb oh you're supposed to be where's B going I don't know where the hell B is going Oops, I missed. Apparently that's too close. They don't like they don't like that. I feel like there's room there though. You there, you better get clear to land. And you you there. You get up to the right, and you. Oh boy, I, I got these planes too close to each other apparently. This guy here. sure about their destiny. Oh, I got these things going to the wrong destinations. Dang it. Uh, oh, jeez. I think this guy's supposed to go to Miami. And this guy's supposed to go to Dallas. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, no. This guy's got to land. Get in there. Oh, my gosh. Have I got... What a mess. What a mess. I think I'm going to crash that plane there. A, letter A is going to crash. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, you there, what are you doing? You there, B is meant to go to... N, whatever that is. So oh, okay, I can maybe fix that. Oh, geez, this guy over here is—he's going to. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, I put the—I landed a plane when he's supposed to go to uh, somewhere else. Oh no, I'm terrible at this. Okay, you sir need to exit and climb. You there? That D was going to. I think that should be right. This one here. Oh boy. Okay. Uh, I got to keep an eye on this plane B, which is meant to go to Nor, wherever that is, but it's the N one. D and E are on there, so we can get F heading out towards Tampa. Is that not the right? No. Okay. Uh, let's get F. going and heading towards the Tampa exit. Oh, H is coming in to land. That's fine. You, you Why don't you just come down to about 2,000 feet? Meanwhile, meanwhile, you, sir, are going to have to turn soon to uh, leave. And you, E, I think is going to Boston, so you're going to go that way, and you can climb up to 5,000 the most we can send them. Okay, this guy here, weren't you supposed to turn more than that? That's F. Okay, meanwhile, who's left? G going towards Dallas. Oh, that's a straight that's a straight takeoff. G. That's an easy one. Just just go. 
We don't have to bother with, bother with G. E's good. Uh, H is coming in. F, we need to get you. Are you going to turn? You already did. Okay, good. So we're going to turn you that way, that way, and then you can leave. How are we doing here? G is taking off. H, I towards Washington. That'll be the next one. This is, you know, there's there's actually something pretty compelling about this game. I um, I definitely remember playing this a fair bit. Uh, I don't know if I was ever any good at it. H, wrong altitude. What? Why? Why are you at the wrong? What? Okay, I don't understand the altitude part of it. Uh, A's got to come or H G. Oh, G's supposed to be at three thousand. Is that what it's saying? No. Ah, uh, J is going to Boston at five thousand. I think that's what it what it's already doing. So, so we'll just leave it in. H can come in for a landing. Oops. Oops. You're cleared to land. And F is supposed to leave at 2,000. You're already at 2,000. Okay. Okay. I think we're under control. I do need to get another cup plane or two into the air. Um, I has to take off bound for Washington. Once H has landed, we'll get an I on the way. I think everyone else is more or less sorted out here. And uh, K and A. Why are you... What? Why? How is that the wrong altitude? I don't know what the altitude's supposed to be. Three, that wasn't the right altitude? I feel like that was the right altitude. Okay, I... You're going to go that way, and you're going to go to, I don't know, 2,000 feet, 3,000 feet. I'm not sure how to interpret it. The wrong exit altitude. Are they always supposed to exit at 5,000, maybe? I'm not sure. I is taking off, which is great. So the board is gradually getting clear here. Now... I'm, I've got altitudes all over the place, but you are now going to turn that way and, and climb to 5,000. I'm going to assume 5,000 is the exit altitude. J is just sort of cruising through. K is sitting on the runway, I guess, going also bound for Washington. So let's get A off the ground towards Miami. A. We're going to do that, and we're going to send you up to 5,000. Go. It's not clear to me if you can give it, like, U-turn instruction. I guess we'll find out. Now we've got an L and a K. Let's see what happens with uh, A there. Does it do both turns that I... Like, I told it to turn south. Let's see if it does it. Mm. Oh, yeah, it did too. Okay. So you need to go to... Where are you going to? A. You're he heading towards Miami, I think. So you're going to turn whoop, this way and go up to 5,000. And let's get K launched here. La uh, launched. K off the ground. And then we've got M. Where's M? Coming in from Miami. Whoa. Oh, four bad. Oh, there we go. Here we go. Here's my evaluation. I guess that's that's the ex that's a performance evaluation. Okay. Four bad exits, right. 1 minutes of conflict, 5 minutes of flight delays.
<laughs> three flight completions great that's not a great record however we didn't have any crashes you've been given another shift yay me 1000 salary bon no bonus career total continue career instant replay well let's check the instant replay shall we oh yes much faster okay i don't Definitely a little chaotic. I wonder if I can exit this. Can I exit this? Continue career. Okay, let's do that. Uh, Atlanta, Dallas, Fort Worth. Well, I'm, I'm used to the Atlanta map, but maybe let's go on to Dallas, Fort Worth training. Okay, Ooh, okay, airport's over there. We've got A coming in from Atlanta, going to Fort Worth in the middle. Okay, so you there. Okay, you can jump straight to it with the letter. Hey, that's nice. We're going to drop you down to a thousand, I think I did. Okay, B is sitting on the ground and needs to go to Seattle. So B, we're going to get you to go up that high. Go. Get moving, buddy. Oh, there's another airstrip there. Uh, Dallas. And forward two airstrips. Okay, interesting. You there, you need to turn now. And get your butt up to 5,000 square feet. Square feet. <laughs> get your butt up to 5,000 square feet. Oh, did I miss the turn for that guy? I did. Shit. That's no good. So, let's see here. How am I going to rectify this? You're going to have to go north. And, uh, let's see here. C is at... C is sitting on the ground, heading for Chicago. Okay, hopefully that'll get that one off the, off the ground. Now... Now then, C, we're going to need to get that one going that way, get him going. Okay, I think, I think plane B is ready to rip. Uh, D is on the ground at Dallas Airport, and where is he going? Uh, Dallas? What? Destination D. That doesn't make sense. Where's he going? What? That doesn't even make sense. Oh, it's like a little plane. Interesting. Okay, what else have we got? E needs to go towards LA. E, I think you can take off now. Probably there's a conflict with spacing there. And F is going to go to... Where's F heading? Also Seattle. Oops, I've got wrong... Well, what's the right exit altitude? I don't even know what that is. <sighs> Grr. Okay, so meanwhile, uh, A can come in for a landing. You're cleared to land. You, C, are going to... Where are you going? Chicago. What? What? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I don't know what is the right... I don't know what is the right exit altitude. I'm going to say 3,000 then. What about you? You're gonna. You're gonna stay at 3,000. H is coming in hot, ish. So you might as well come down to a thousand. You might as well come down to a thousand feet. And oh, geez, you there? You better turn. I don't know how you know 
the exit altitude. Okay, F is on the ground, needs to go to Seattle. So, uh, F, you are going to go to 3,000 feet and you're going to go that way. Go. Who's in? Yeah, okay, there's the wrong exit altitude again. I don't know what is the right exit altitude. Is it 4,000 feet maybe? D and H are in contact? Is that what it's warning me about? Yeah, that's what it is. Yeesh. Well, D's going to go parallel. He's also a thousand square feet. A thousand square feet higher. You there. Supposed to be coming down. You, sir. You need to be going. Whoops, I'm hitting the wrong. you get past that next dot, you're going to do a U-turn and come in for a landing, I think. November two zero three. Turn right to zero nine zero. Clear Whoa, landing. why did you not turn? What the hell's going on with you? F was... I told you to go... I'm not a very good air traffic controller. Um, <laughs> okay, who else have we got sitting on the ground? G, going to Chicago. And I, going to Mexico. Let's get I off the ground. Why is this guy not turning? D. Oh, he is. Great, finally. I don't know what is the right exit altitude. I have no idea. Meanwhile, F there is, uh, we'll see what C does. So there's a few things I don't know. The manual is available online. Uh, you can find it at Atari Mania for sure. Probably the Internet Archive. Um, wrong exit altitude. I don't know what is the right exit altitude. Is it different going each direction, maybe? I'm not entirely sure. Uh, you need to turn to get out of here. I is going to Mexico. That's fine. Wrong exit altitude. Well, I figured that. You're at 3,000? Or you're climbing? 180 at 3,000. I have no idea. Meanwhile, the little the little small plane that I sent in a little circle is coming in for a landing. Um, not sure if that was the right thing to do or not. But it said it's uh, similar to J. If you look at item J, or plane J there, it's going D to D, so I don't know what kind of flight it's expecting out of that. We'll see what happens with D. And L is coming in bound for whatever at 5,000. So see if D lands or not here. I and L. I think what happens is the clock runs till I wasn't paying close attention last time, but I think I think it runs to uh, um, two hours. Not entirely clear on that, to be honest. Okay, D is presumably landing. Was that successful? Yes. Uh, L is coming in. American and I is 
is leaving. Well, let's get uh, G off the ground here. And let's see here, what about J? Why don't we get J off the ground? coming in oh no N needs to take off L K is going to Mexico as well I wonder how much room I need to give them So we got sitting on the ground there at Fort Worth. We've got uh, M going to Chicago and N going to LA. I guess we better get G maybe going that way a bit. United one zero six. What the hell? Let's get N off the ground. Going to LA. We don't want to cause any more flight delays, even if we're, even if we're putting planes into conflict with each other. That's how I roll as a flight, as an air traffic controller. I guess these altitudes are in feet, not meters, aren't they? Or even square meters, because that makes perfect sense. Oh, I don't seem to have caused any conflicts by launching the, all of those planes. Um, I'm going to cause a conflict, though, by... <laughs> i got to watch that G get, on, get it off the, off the map there. L, L, oh, L, are you not coming in for a landing? Jeez, that's not great. I'm going to shoot right off the end of the runway. I think my time is just about up here anyway. We got three, three, t three, two, one real, one real time second. There we go. Five bad exits. One minute of conflict. Three minutes of flight delays. Three flight completions. I'm gonna give it another shift. Yay me! Um, I'm actually, whoop, I'm actually gonna take a quick look at the uh, manual here and uh, see if I can figure out something about. traffic lanes. Use lowest altitude bar for exit position. Oh, use lowest altitude bar for exit position. Really? Uh, the planes are three types of planes in Kennedy Approach. Light planes, jet airliners, and the supersonic Concorde. Terrain features, mountains, storms, and restricted zones. Oh, there's so much more to this game. Wow. Flight plans, the uppermost letter, plans ID. Below it is the letter of the destination and airport. The clock. Alarm area. Dangerous situations include incorrect exit altitudes and fixes conflicts and crashes. Okay, let's see here. Uh, establishing contact. Type the plane's ID letter or move the box over. Issuing commands. Each bar indicates a thousand feet of altitude. The actual position of plane is represented not by the icon, but by the bottom bar. What? Exiting command mode status. Oh, you can get the what orders they have. Okay, cool. Get a little summary of takeoffs and whatever, landing, holding. Simulation aircraft, car 
character, speed, altitude changes, turning radii, in-flight instructions, aircraft separation. You must maintain a 1,000 foot separation in altitude between aircraft flying within three miles of each other. So three miles is three grid squares. Okay, so you got to maintain three miles separation, bad weather, mountains, 4,000 feet over mountains. You got to avoid bad weather, restricted zone. You got you to gotta stay away from restricted zones or they'll get shot down by nervous security personnel. Fuel. If you have too, too many delays, they'll run out. Ugh, so many things. Tips for better play. Plan ahead. Stay at a skill level one until you become proficient. Stacking can be used in takeoffs to get many planes off the ground. Oh, first plane is go to a thousand, next plane three thousand. This maintains the required one thousand foot separation even though all our planes are climbing. Handle takeoffs and landings in groups. When skies get crowded, delay the takeoffs. Remember the bottom altitude bar represents the plane's position over the ground. Okay, what about the exit altitudes though? Like, I don't know how to tell that. Hmm. Okay, I think you're meant to interpret these these maps that are in the manual, maybe. Not clear to me, to be honest. Okay, well anyway. There's lots to know. Um, you can eat, you can have fun just kind of dinking around with with uh, you know, just basically doing what I was doing and um, it's a pretty absorbing game I like it I like it uh, even though I haven't probably played it for 30 years or more almost 30 years when did I get rid of my Atari 80 summer of 86 so 28 no shoot I'm older than I I'm older than I remember most of the time. That's going to be 40 40 years in a couple of years from now. I may not have played this game for 38 years, but I still remember it. And I've refreshed myself, and I'm sure I didn't have the manual back then because the box that I bought probably was damaged and then I didn't have the manual because it was box was damaged. That's my operating theory anyway. It's a long time ago. Can't really be expected to remember everything like that. So, thank you for watching. You take care of yourselves, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.